All right, that last one we spent a little bit of too much time on, I think, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this next one looks like it's going to be a romantic drama. And I am very excited about it because you know how much I love um, romantic dramas. So here we go. <laughs> You're watching the trailer for her. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Kill! Official teaser trailer. Isn't that... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the romantic evenings that I would like to have with my wife. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's a joke, guys. That's a joke. That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> a romantic comedy. Uh, no, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. This is obviously, it's probably going to be some action movie. Uh, Kill 2024 official release trailer. Um, Lakeisha, Lakshia, Lakshia, Tonya, Tanya, Maniktala. Sorry, I'm not making fun of these people. I just can't pronounce their names. Tanya Maniktala, Raghav Juyal. So, look, at, no insult to anybody here. Maybe I these. Pe maybe this is a foreign film, and they're oh. these people are famous in another country, and that would be perfectly fine. And if that's true, fine. But if that's not true, that would be like if the name of the movie was just random name, like, okay, so kill, and then it was said like, Bill Johnson, John <laughs> Smith, and James <laughs> Brady. <laughs> Who the hell are these people? Like, excuse me, okay, but I just, who is, like, I look up this person's name and a movie comes up. I can't even find the first guy. Okay, let's see. Who is Tanya? Okay. She's been in nothing that I've seen. Okay, so yeah, this looks like a foreign film. Maybe it, maybe it is something where it's like they're famous in a foreign country. So, okay. You got me there. And like I said, I, I prefaced it by saying, if they're famous in a foreign country, good. You know. But, like, nobody... <laughs> like, hey, guys, are you excited about John Smith's new movie? John <laughs> who? Like, who? <laughs> who? Uh, okay. Anyway. Okay. Uh, this is coming to us from Lionsgate. We're going to like the video. It's got... Just a second, guys. I'm going to open that up. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it's got 1.1 million views to 15,000 uh, likes and 496 dislikes. Kill. Watch the teaser trailer now, only in theaters July 4th, starring those people. And when... And, oh, here we go. You wanted a description. Here it is. When Army Commander, Army Commando Emrit, finds out his true love, Tulika, is engaged... Against her will, he boards a New Delhi-bound train in a daring quest to derail the arranged marriage. But when a gang of knife-wielding thieves led by the ruthless Fani begin to terrorize innocent passengers on the train, Amrit takes them on himself in a death-defying kill spree to save those around him, turning what should have been a typical comm commute into an adrenaline-fueled thrill ride. So, <laughs> Indian movie... Interesting. Uh, it's made by it's made by Lionsgate though, so it's not exactly a foreign yeah. film. Yeah. Um, the production company is probably there. Probably is an Indian production company that's actually making it. Lionsgate is producing it. That's what it probably is. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you. I can tell you why it is being made in India because of this right here. When a gang of what? What is that? Knife wielding. Knife wielding thieves. You see, because if this were in America, it would be a gang of autumn of guys wielding automatic machine guns, <laughs> fully automatic, you know, machine guns. <laughs> By the way, a machine gun is not an assault rifle because there's no such thing as an assault rifle. A machine gun is a weapon that has an open bolt face system, an open faced bolt system. Excuse me, and um, 
actually, so the bolt moving forward and backward is it makes it, and that's the machined part. It's called a machine gun. So fully automatic machine guns and shotguns <laughs> got on the train, and then um, Tulika, or sorry, uh, and then Amrit was shot and killed, and then that would be the end of the movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> Amrit um, discovers he's the chosen one, and that's why he's able to take on a gang of 20, 20 armed men with machine guns and shotguns. No, uh, I'm just I'm just joking around. Uh, I will say, like Bollywood has some really good action movies. So if this is like a Bollywood America, like a like kind of like the Hollywood Bollywood crossover type of thing here, where Lionsgate hired a a Bollywood. Um, director or even just a production company to make the movie and they're producing it that could be pretty cool yeah have you ever seen the movie rrr no okay tommy boy seriously tomorrow you have the day off watch the movie on netflix rrr it is the absolute best action movie you would <laughs> love it it's like lord of the rings but like they were like it's like lord of the rings but they decided, listen, I know that Lord of the Rings has a bunch of fantasy elements, so it's unrealistic, but let's throw away everything that grounded that movie and just go way over the top with the action. <laughs> so it's like Lord of the Rings has two things, fantasy element. I mean, it's like really it's a really great movie all around, but it just if you focus in on the fact that it has good action and then like this great sense of mythology that is still grounded at the same time. Okay, throw away the ground of mythology and just focus in on that action part and make it go way over the top. Like, way over. <laughs> like, jumping over Mountain Doom. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh, anyway, so, we'll, so hopefully that we get a little taste of something like RRR in this movie. Uh, kill. So, we, in, in, any thoughts before we get started? No, yeah, let's, let's see what we got. All right, I gotta try not to pause it, but we've got a one minute and twenty six second trailer. Are you ready? Always ready. <sighs> I love my awesome support the troops stormtrooper mug. Do you know where you can get a mug just like this one, but different? Bottega Crua. Bottega Crua is an Italian born and raised artisan trained at the Academy of Fine Arts in Venice, Italy. Since 2010, Bottega Crua has offered unique handmade and hand-painted ceramics, pottery, and other artistic products. You can find these products at her Etsy store by following the link down below. She also takes custom orders, but they may take longer to ship because she has to make them after you order them. So go check out Bottega Crua to get yourself an awesome mug just like this one or the ones you've been seeing behind me as this ad has been going on. Remember guys, supporting our partners is supporting the pack, the action pack. Here we go. Welcome. Just a second. I know I just said I wasn't going to pause it, but I wanted to see. So Lionsgate. That was fast. Roadside Attractions. Dharma Productions. Yep. Yeah, oh, so this is them. like... Probably... Let me see. Is Dharma Productions a Bollywood studio? Let's check it out. Bollywood studio. What is wrong with you? Um. Yeah, it's the it, it, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a it's an Indian it's a Bollywood production company. So here we go. Fingers crossed for another RRR type of movie. So <laughs> here we go. You know what? Ed, you did you see the movie Bullet Train? Yeah, oh, yeah. Pitt? So this is yeah. gonna be like Bullet Train, but the Indian version. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry. Welcome. Please prepare for departure. Okay. We hope you have a safe, pleasant, and delightful journey ahead. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Landmark 
back in action action cinema. Okay. The most violent voice film he has ever produced. That saying something. Wait a minute, Bella. What the heck is this? It said a gang of of, of knife wielding whatever knife. What did it say? A gang of knife wielding knife wielding Eight. thieves. Okay, a gang of knife wielding geriatric thieves. Apparently, <laughs> do you see this guy? <laughs> this is an old man. He's like I. He's like I'm sorry, son, but I'm old. I can't get another job. I haven't made enough money to save up for my retirement. I need this. Please let me rob these people. <laughs> He's a, he's a seasoned thief. <laughs> there you go, seasoned thief. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> Aladdin is not doing well these days. Just <laughs> here we go. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. We Stuck hope you enjoyed the, the ride. My oh. dad. So, yeah, it, start, it, it did not have, like, an end screen. Um, so I don't even know if I would be that intimidated by a group of... a gang of knife-wielding thieves... I mean, I know that they, I'm not saying that they wouldn't be able to kill me if there was a lot of them and they would be, you know, okay. But I'm just saying like, like I'm saying like if someone said to me like, hey, you need to get off the train. There's a gang of knife wielding thieves. I'd be like, well, just get a weapon that's longer than a knife and you have an advantage now. <laughs> like that fire hydrant he used is is gives him an advantage over a group of guys with knives. You're in a train where one guy can come at you at a time. So just start just. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, it's not harder to get a be better weapon than a knife if you're on a train <laughs> full of people. Um, <laughs> all right, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Uh, if it's in India, just get a cow to walk down the train. You'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just you're like running around the train with like a <laughs> a little a little calf, and you're like, don't. Yeah. <laughs> You can't attack me. No, come on. That's, <laughs> hey, that is culturally insensitive. <laughs> <my friend. laughs> uh, you know, us here at Mike's After Action Reviews, we are very culturally sensitive, and we do not believe that you can make fun of anyone's culture ever. I'm just kidding. Comedy's comedy, man. No insults <laughs> to Indian people. They're great people. Uh, and they have a great culture and all that stuff. But, hey, equal treatment for everybody. Thank you. Um... Yeah, Ugh. but you see what's happening though. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you don't have a lot of space. Uh, yeah. I think. It, you know, anyway, this looks like it could be really cool though. That's my point. It, it does. Like look the knife fighting scenes. Like it's like gonna be the knife fighting scene from John Wick, but that's like the whole oh, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But more old Indian guys getting beat <laughs> up. So, uh, let's check out what people are saying about it in the comments. Here we go. Um, at, okay, Ragav. I don't know who Ragav is. Well, okay, so, I mean, it's that actress. I just, it doesn't really mean anything to me. Or, no, no that actor, excuse me. Doesn't, just doesn't mean anything to me simply because, you know, this is like an Indian guy. Pro I mean, probably a great actor, been in a, some great movies and everything in India. I just, I just don't know him because I'm from America. Uh, I'm a fan of... Lak Lakshya Lalwani since I was saw him in Porus series seven years back he's a phenomenal actor and I won't be surprised if he does a phenomenal job here as well which is quite evident from the trailer um <clears throat> I want to see this there you go I've been watching those those insider and GQ interviews uh nobody monkey man sisu Boy, kill world into into the one John Wick universe and this too. Oh yeah, see there you go. If yeah, if we had like a fight between Sisu, John Wick, nobody, Monkey Man. Okay. Um. 
No doubt that this guy nailed, but just imagine if he was John Abraham. Who is John Abraham? Do you mean John Wick? I know him. Okay. Oh, he's saying like, oh, John Abraham yeah. maybe should have played the part. Is that what you're, is that what you're saying yeah, here? I guess mm -hmm. Okay. I guess it's um, yeah, finally, we're getting more Indian representation of Western films where they aren't just the comedic sidekick. Great to see. Let me ask you a question. How much, how many, how many American people, how much American representation do you think there are in Indian movies? What do you, I wonder what the ratio of like white representation yeah. is in Indian movies. Uh, <laughs> those racist Indian people. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't think Indian people are racist. I'm just pointing out how dumb representation arguments are and stuff like that. Um, all right. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, we got the ad break coming up here in about 30 seconds, so I'll put us to ad break, and we will see you guys after these short messages. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.